Higuana Sensei is a master of karate. He holds a seventh dan black belt. At 42, he is young to be accepted as a master. This status he has earned by an almost mystical level of skill and power. He lives in Okinawa, an island in the Ryukyu group off Japan. Karate started here 500 years ago, when King Sho Hashi disarmed his warriors to prevent civil war. Without weapons, but with a powerful fighting tradition, the warriors secretly developed karate, the art of the empty hand. The technique remained secret to a small group of masters until, in the 1920s, it began to be taught in Tokyo. Now it is practiced all over the world. The Ryukyu Islands are in the northeast of the Pacific, between Japan and the Chinese mainland. The largest of the islands is Okinawa. The king's decree brought peace to the islands for many years. Unfortunately, it also meant that they became defenseless against an invading Japanese army in 1622. Eventually, the islands fell under Japanese rule. The Okinawan way of life was nearly destroyed in the Second World War. The Japanese fought bitterly against the Americans. Caught between the two armies, at least 50,000 civilians died. The young Higuana escaped because his father evacuated the family to Japan. Of their convoy of three ships, two were sunk. Higuana went back to Okinawa after the war. The islands remained an American base and were administered by them for 20 years. There is still a garrison of 50,000 men there. Now, once again under Japanese administration, the economy is reviving and the city is rebuilt. Higuana left to go to Tokyo to become a university student and then to be a karate instructor. He became unhappy about what he felt were alien influences upon his art, forcing it to develop in ways that he felt were wrong. After 25 years, he returned to Okinawa to help strengthen karate in the place where it began. The rough paved streets of the old city are the same that he knew as a boy before the bombs fell. The houses were destroyed, but the stone walls that surrounded them are still there, and still the home of snakes. <coughs> Master Higuana lives in a family house in the city. His sister lives in the top flat, he and his wife share the next floor with his mother, and underneath, he has turned the garage into his dojo. He began to learn karate when he was 15. After eight years, his master gave him his teaching license, and he began to instruct his own students in the art. It requires a rigorous pattern of daily exercise to maintain his status as an international master. After his morning run, before he even begins to practice karate, he exercises his whole body, section by section. He works through every group of muscles from his toes to his head, from his spine to the tips of his fingers. Although millions of people practice karate throughout the world, such determination is very rare. The hours of practice have changed his body. It is now close to the karate ideal. And the mind, too, is trained to achieve complete concentration in every action. Perfection is the aim in every exercise. ま、
、まあ、強ければそれなりに、えーまあ、別の面の仕事を行きますけどやはり彼っていうのはそこに、まああのー、魅力があって、まあ、始めたんですけどね、まあ、時々まあ、自分の人生ということはやはり一生通して、まあ、できる仕事ですからね、まああのー、毎朝、まあ、稽古して打ち込んでやるんですけども。カラーティ means literally empty hand and its aim is to turn the bare hands into powerful defensive weapons。Some years ago Master Higuana met a Chinese man who had hands which were truly like stone。He applied a special oil。A secret combination of herbs to his hands every day. It helped the skin grow hard and calloused, protecting the bones and muscles underneath. Master Iguana asked for some of the oil, and ever since then his Chinese supplier has sent it regularly. The post he is striking is made of solid oak and is set in concrete at floor level. It is just flexible enough to stop the bones of his hands being damaged when he strikes it with full force. At the heart of Okinawan karate lies the kata. These are long sequences of fighting actions which employ all the most important techniques for attack and defense, one after another. They are linked together by steps forward, backwards, and to the side, or by rapid turns to face a new imaginary opponent. Breath. Posture, striking action, and balance must all be harmonized at every moment in every action. To achieve this, Master Higuana works like a great dancer practicing for a performance. The level of skill is comparable, but the karate master seldom shares his mastery with an audience. で、刀は空間に空間でただ一人自分一人でね、うん、相手をかわそうとやりますからねやはり本当につかみどころのないこの相手がいない敵をかわそうとやりますからね結局100回目標にするとするとどうしても50回60回の疲れてきてきき精神的にこう前てきますね。まあそういう時に「よしもう一回やろう」「じゃあまたもう一回やろう」まあ、そういう積み重ねで、まあ、ある程度自分自分鍛えられて、まあ、いったと思いますけどね。In this section from a carter, the soft, gentle blocking movements are accompanied by exhalation. They are followed by a lightning turn during which the master must inhale, ducking down slightly, then he rises and holds his breath to gain the power for a double punch. The solitary discipline of his life has been eased by his recent marriage. Three years ago, Alana joined his class in his Tokyo dojo. They have one child, Seigi. <laughs> It's not an easy place to live for someone used to the relaxed American way of life. Okinawa is isolated, and very few of the Americans who live there mix in local life. Karate is considered by most of the world to be a Japanese art. In fact, the main influence on its development was the Chinese martial arts.
There are many schools of karate. Master Higuana practices Gojo Ryu, the hard and soft style. This has adapted the deep breathing techniques of the soft Chinese martial arts like Tai Chi. Gojo Ryu has a special kata based on them called San Chin. Here it is practiced by Master Miyagi. He has instructed Master Higuana for 25 years. The handing down of knowledge from one master to another has been crucial to the continuity and development of karate. Iguana spends many hours in discussion with the senior masters. Most of what they know is not written down, but Iguana believes that if the old traditions are to continue, then everything known must now be recorded. The discussions are often about tiny details, comparing the ways that long dead masters taught and practiced. Kina Sensei is 72 years old. He wears a red belt, which is given only to untested beginners and to the most senior masters, signifying that the master has traveled the full circle of a life of karate. They use the language of Okinawa for these conversations. They say it's impossible to discuss karate properly in Japanese, since only Okinawan has the words for the details and the more profound concepts. Their conversations continually return to the subject of kata and how to perform each one. The hard and soft style of Gojo Ryu has 13 katas. The most advanced of these is called Super Rinpe. It is not taught to students until they have trained for at least 10 years. It consists of abrupt bursts of action contrasted with soft, slow, controlled movements. Mastery of this kata is considered to be mastery of karate itself. It consists of 112 separate sequences of moves. To perform it correctly requires total physical control. At the same time, the mind must be both alert and yet in a state of meditation. There is a powerful sense of striving in such a performance. Where other fighting arts relax into a fluid, easy style, karate keeps the tension and effort. It is said that at this level of performance, the master is not fighting any imaginary opponents, but is confronting only himself. The purpose of karate is to gain mastery over self. やはり in most places in the world, the teaching of children is considered suitable for the lower grades of black belt. However, in Okinawa, such is the concentration of expertise, the children are often taught by masters. Once formed, this relationship continues for life.
なりこうあはいじゃあ落としてあはい顔顔をしてはい三。はいこれ反対こうこうこうねはい There are two main paths in karate. The traditional way is that of self-defense, leading after years of practice to self-discipline. This is the path taught by the traditionalists, including Higuain. The other path is taking karate away from this ideal into the world of sport, where training leads to sporting contests. Master Higuain returned to Okinawa because he felt that the sporting way was taking over. For him, karate can never be a sport. It is not possible to pull a punch or kick and still perform it properly. In pure karate, a blow must always be practiced with full power. Hey, hey, hey! Yame, hey! Hey, so far, we are done. Thank you very much. Hey, hey, Gokuro, san, was. Hey. In the senior class, the students' ages range from 20 up to 50. Some are black belts of fourth and fifth dan. Gradings are awarded after detailed and demanding examinations. よう、はい、はい、ジャンプして、そのまま弾みつけて、弾みつけて、弾みつけて、はい、弾み。ここが入っていたらすると思う。はい、はい、パン。はい、弾みつけ、弾みつけて、弾みつけて。はい、飛んで。はい、弾みつけ、弾みつけて。はい、飛んで。はい、飛んで。はい、最後。はい、飛んで。はい、ほら。ほら。They practice sequences of prepared sparring, which are designed to prepare the students for real fighting and the control of aggression. Though his classes in Okinawa are small. Master Higuana has students throughout the world. He is the head of an international Gojo Ryu organization, and he travels regularly to give classes in Europe, South Africa, and India. At the end of the class, the most senior students practice an extraordinary exercise in sustained tension, Sanchin Kata. They strip to the waist so that the master can detect any faults of posture or breathing. When you breathe, you feel the muscles in your body. あの締めながらやるんです。普通のヨガですと力抜いてる。で三チの難しいところはこう丹田を締めた状態で固めた状態で呼吸するところに非常に難しいところがあるあるわけですね。でその三チの場合に一番呼吸する場合にですねまず支えを倒し倒す一番それが大事です。支えを倒してで倒し呼吸することですね。In Sanchin Kata, the student is trained both mentally and physically to feel unshakable, whatever the attack on him, to stand like a rock in a stormy sea. With feet set slightly apart and knees turned in, the groin is protected, and the fight is very securely balanced. はい。
はいはいで産地の呼吸法はですねあの二通りある,あるわけです最初はあの鼻から吸いましてまっすぐこれ落としてで丹田で巻きつける巻きつきますもう一つはこう背中を打って,て下からこう打ってで丹田でこう巻きつけるこういうのまず二通りあるわけですでこれはこの動作と調和を取りながらやるわけですわざと一緒にはいで今度はあ、い、側面ですね今度こっちに向いてはいもう一回膝を両膝を曲げてお尻を締めるはい青引きはいもう一つの呼吸法は鼻から吸って円を描いて、はい、肛門を締めながら丹田でこう巻きつけるとで両膝を打ち締めると小さな肩をまずす顎引きで肩を落とし肘を締めるで膝を締めるそれからお尻締めるそれからこう丹田かっこぐっと中へこう巻きつけるそれから足の測定はぴったり床へつけるそういう正しい姿勢で正しい呼吸すれば正しい産地が生まれますね後ろも足を広げ目にしてで測定あ,あ親指の線の測定ぴったりつけるようにねで両膝をやや少し巻きますはい膝を締めて、はい、肛門を締め上げます一つは全身の筋骨を締めるためですやはりこう締めてもしあの膝が弱くてガクッときた場合はまだ締まってない症候で,でもはい w a h e r a s a n has been practicing Sanchin for many years the prolonged muscular tension has developed his strength the combination of this tension with the special breathing and the harmonized pattern of movements has generated a deep inner concentration Exercises like these must be practiced with great caution. If bad habits are allowed to develop, then the powerful tension in the chest can cause internal injury. 本当に鍛えたその筋の筋肉というのは空気入れた周りと同じでで全然弱いの空気半分ベタベタして,してますね。同じ鍛えてない人はもう手が食い込むわけです。本当に鍛えた三人というのは手が弾け打つ方が痛いぐらいね。そのぐらい、まあ、そういう意味のまだ鍛錬でもある,あるわけです。精神面と、で、筋力と。そういう面の鍛錬です。はい、で、こうさするのは、姿勢を直すためと。で、もう一つは、相手を、その、作っていくと。精神面。どういうことううまあ、もちろん、力をつけていくと。精神面、かつ、筋骨を。そういう意味の、締めというんですね。Kamimura-san is one of Higawana Sensei's most senior students. He can reach such a deep state of meditation that he doesn't appear to even notice the fierce slaps. はい、私にとって空手は、まあ、一つの人生でありまた哲学であり、えー、まあ一つ風また雲みたいなもんですねつかみどころのないですからもう毎日一日一日一日その空手に挑戦をして何かつかもうとしてるんです,ですけどもなかなかつかめなくて。まあ、毎日アクセントをしてるんですけども。Karate is a product of Okinawa's island culture, which is more than a thousand years old. It was a peasant community until Chinese and Japanese visits in the 8th and 9th centuries. The inhabitants gradually formed three rival kingdoms on the island. Okinawa was unified in 1429 by King Sho Hashi. The walls of his palace and the royal tombs have been rebuilt. After he disarmed the noblemen, 
a court of astonishing splendour grew up around him. The Ryukyu Islands, of which Okinawa is part, became a rich trading nation, the Venice of the Far East. Since trade was officially banned between Japan and China, they acted as the middleman between them. They took their culture from the many countries that they traded with, but always adapted it, making it their own. The great turtle-back tombs that are placed on hillsides all over the island came from the Chinese. The response of the working people of the island to being disarmed was to develop a fighting system based on using their tools as weapons. Fishermen developed combat skills using turtle shells as shields and fish spears as short swords, adopting the techniques of karate. Like the warriors, they also maintained it as a secret concealed art. Master Higuana's research into karate includes a study of these weapon systems. Farmers learned to use threshing flails, horse bridles and even these grindstone handles as weapons. These are particularly useful for defense against the sword, as the forearm can be used to block the sword strokes and thus penetrate the swordsman's defense. Even the small Japanese rice harvesting sickles have a special kata, designed to make them effective weapons. Each tool has been studied so that its special qualities of attack and defense are used. All the objects of everyday life were adapted by the peasants. On the other hand, the nobles always fought without weapons, maintaining the art of the empty hands. Out of the wreckage of war, other parts of the Okinawan culture survive. Their music, strongly influenced by Indonesian styles, and their skill in weaving and dyeing silk come together in the ancient court dances. <laughs> Dance master Miyagi Sensei studied the same style of karate, Gojo Ryu, as Master Higuana, until he reached fourth Dan black belt status. He was learning to dance at the same time, and at this point, when he was nearly 40, he decided to dedicate the rest of his life to teaching dance. With 15 years of karate training behind him, Miyagi Sensei is deeply aware of the similarities between the two arts. He stresses that it is not just the movements that are the same. The actual way of performing the movements is also the same. The feet must move diagonally, then be firmly planted on the floor. The arms flow out gracefully, but are checked by tensing the muscles. これ
一つの意味がございますかえー、いやこれはここは意味はないんだがこの握り方ですねこれなんとか名称がありましたでしょう、ねまあ、空手ではあの蛍光剣といいますか、えー、鳥のくちばしといいますか、ね、そうそうそうこれも同じですこれそれから足、まあ、空手の場合は足の,足の運びが大事ですけども、はい、Many of these dance movements are obviously related to karate These blocking techniques, for example. ああ、そうですか。この立ち方。うん。腰の落とし方。歩き方。また空手と同じですね。ええ、空手ともほとんど同じですね。そうですね。それからこの開くところですね。力を抜いてここで。ああ、瞬間的に力を込めと。In 1393, the Chinese government sent a colony of artisans to Okinawa to teach the people the arts of writing, shipbuilding, lacquer work, and pottery. The Okinawans already had crude pottery before the 14th century, but the Chinese potters added new skills and techniques. These, the Okinawans, in their turn, developed and changed. They became famous for their pottery, and many well-known potters went to Okinawa before 1940 to learn from them, although the pre-war Japanese government tried to discourage this. They wanted a unified Japan, but they had trouble forcing the islanders to conform. The Okinawans cremated their dead and placed their ashes inside huge earthenware jars. Custom dictated that the ashes of one's ancestors be placed in a new jar every few decades. Which means there is a constant demand for them. This potter works for three months making several hundred funeral pots. Then they are all put into the kiln together. Just as the Chinese guided the Okinawans in pottery, so they did in karate. Over the past four centuries or more, Okinawan fighting masters have been visiting the Chinese mainland and studying martial arts there. Many of karate's carters were brought to Okinawa in this way. But after they arrived in Okinawa, they were modified and developed to become part of the local fighting system. This was always the principle of their lives, to learn from everyone, but to transform what they learned to suit their own strong characters. This Chinese lion gets an Okinawan face. Fighters traditionally use clay jars for strengthening their fingers and hands. Every week, a small group of the most senior students gather to do body strengthening exercises and practice the most advanced karate skills. They use a mixture of local and foreign training aids. This loop of solid iron is an Hawaiian training invention. It weighs about 60 pounds. The people of Okinawa have always been stocky, with short, powerful legs, the physique of seafaring people. Karate matches their bodies, giving them a strength much greater than seems possible for their size. ですからまああの自分から手出して喧嘩はしないと
、そういう戒めでもう肩は全部怪我が始まってますからね、まあ、相手が抗議しようとする挑発的なものはやはりその抑えるのが我々の目あのー、務めですからねまあやむを得ない時はそれはディフェンスでやる場合もありますけども目的はまずこの抑えるのが目的です相手の,その抗議しようという心をですねそうすると平和主義ですからね<笑>自分から抗議しないです Although carters are usually practiced alone, occasionally Higawana sensei goes through one of the carters using opponents to demonstrate exactly how each movement is applied. This is very dangerous, requiring practice and extremely careful timing. For this exercise, sensei uses his two most trusted students, Wehera san and Kamimura san. Though they are taught that karate is a defensive art, when the fighting starts, there is no lack of brutal techniques. Many of the hand and elbow blows which Sensei is using are lethal. They strike into nerve centers and other vital points. The kick with the left leg is a feint, designed to pull the opponent down and onto the powerful right leg kick. For the devotees of karate, then, fighting is not something to be fooled with or played at. It should never happen. They train themselves relentlessly to learn the self control which prevents fighting breaking out. Their tradition has grown up amidst centuries of foreigners invading their small island. Its central philosophy teaches calmness and preparedness in the face of adversity. If Higuana Sensei has his way, This philosophy of control and self mastery will be taught, alongside the techniques, to practitioners of karate all over the world. Kung Fu, same time, same place, next week.